good morning. That's what's left of my little fire. I actually didn't really need it. It wasn't that cold this morning and I wasn't going to cook anything. But the last people that were here just threw a bunch of garbage in there. And it was stinking up and drawing flies. So you do what you can. Sorry. Try not to move around so much. Hi. How are you doing? I know I'm starting to get... Oh. Now you know why you see those old pictures of the pioneers and they're all just burly beard and look like madmen. I need to shave. <clears throat> Let's talk about what it means to travel full time. To be a wanderer. Nomad. Luckily, there's BLM, which is where I'm at right now. Yesterday, right above me, is a private road. I was parked up there for a minute, and then the security guard came by and let me know that that wasn't acceptable. He was nice now. He was really cool. He was like, you don't have to leave right now. Just, you know, let you know. I was like, no, I'll leave now. I don't want anybody to get an idea that it's a good place to park. So, you know, and... It was funny because after that, I was so my I was just nervous. I was just like uh, I was I was put off by that. Not because of him. He was doing his job. He's a nice guy, Native American. I love it. But the point was, is it threw me off, and it's kind of like reminds me that you do not have. <clears throat> it's the oddest thing. It's as if you don't belong anywhere, and you have to find some place to be. Odd, right? Most people have an apartment, have a house. God bless. Lucky for you. Or a mansion. Snobs. But yeah. It's important to have a some kind of space where you can stop for a minute, think for a minute, and reflect, or just take a breath, or get a good night's sleep. And it's hard to do. And BLM is important, because you have 14 days if you can find a place. It's not all glamorous, and most of them... Some have um, toilets. They're usually just pit toilets. I call them pits of despair. Because that's what they are. But, um, hey, it's better just crapping out in the woods. And they're usually supplied regularly with toilet paper. So that's a blessing. So you take what you can get when you're out on the road, right? <clears throat> but it is a weird thing to, to not belong anywhere. But you, you're, you're important. You still exist. You know? That's what I... I we've had this homeless problem for since I was a kid and I was like we'll solve it well then all of a sudden you shut down all the mental institutions and that just made it so much much better you know and a lot of them were veterans and the VA just was horrible but there's a lot of veterans still out there too but I just wanted you as a student I don't know maybe I'm teaching you something I don't know telling you something you didn't know or making you think of something in a, in a way that you didn't think of it before it's like meeting people for the first time you don't know who they are so it's like a scary thought and it's foreign and then you meet them and like the gentleman down there at the campground he was really cool his name was paul he was just no worries you're not in trouble so just take your time you know i appreciate that because it's nice to have a place where you can just relax and calm. you know you're not going to be told to move on and yeah, it's funny because where I'm at now, somebody was here yesterday, and I was and I was gonna try to get this spot because it's still close to the gas station and it has porta potties right down the hill, so I can use those instead of having to go crap off into the woods or the desert, which is not a good thought anyway. But that's why I always think it's important for towns and cities that have BLM around, and you know people are out there camping, just put out a po couple porta potties and maintenance them. And it'll be, trust me, it'll be worth it because that's your environment. That's your, you know what I mean? If I, I, It's your backyard. And you don't want people, foreigners, people just showing up that you don't know. Not that there's some, anything wrong with them. They're just almost mobile nomads, gypsies. And they need places to park for the night. And BLM is a good place. And if they don't have facilities, a lot of people sleeping in their cars, they're just going to just crap all over the place. So it's important for them them to kind of be proactive on the, and it's only going to get worse of course like I said um, homelessness is not being reported especially in the numbers that seriously now after the moratorium they're really just quit talking about that there, there's a lot where it's just I'm not going to get into it I'm trying to focus on you and I want you to just to imagine what it's like that every night you had to find a place to sleep and you didn't have a place 
you're wandering around and you're in, and you didn't know when somebody was gonna say, "Hey, you're not, you don't belong there. Go," or I'll call the cops and you'll go to jail. And, yeah, cops have become. Here's the interesting thing about that, really quick. Defund the cops, right? The liberals were getting people to not like the cops because cops were bad. Okay. This is where it gets really psychologically interesting. The cops, you have to think that's got to impact them negatively to where they think like, okay, now we're the assholes, right? Okay. Maybe that makes them turn into what they're, you know, don't, don't become what you're accused of, right? And I've noticed that it's weird. The cops are doing some weird shit. You know what I mean? If you're a cop and you're harassing somebody for where they're parked, and you know they're homeless, you're horrible. You're not a cop. I'm going to say that straight out. Because cops have discretion to, to know what's right and wrong, who are good and bad. And if you can't figure that out, then yeah, you got issues. And you shouldn't be a cop. You should be carrying a badge and a gun. <clears throat> anyway. But yeah, but that's the thing. Don't become what they've you know painted you as. If you're a cop and you're listening to this, that's exactly what it is. Don't become the monster that they're, you know, that they're portraying you as. Anyway, don't, you know what I mean? Because that, but that's the problem is people are so scared of cops or whatever or getting, you know, harassed for the, where they're parked. Like I said, that kid, he's Native American. He was up in Oregon. He was like, dude, I'm getting three hours a night because, you know, every, or he's like every three hours he has to wake up and move. I'm mean, like, that is no way to live, man. That's not, it's just psychological. That's how they torture people in some countries by, you know, sleep deprivation, which is what a lot of people are suffering from. Last night I got a good night's sleep, and I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about that. I'm like, man, it's tough just finding that spot to, to park for a minute. So, you know, think about that. If you're blessed and you have money and you have a place, good for you. I'm not going to, don't feel guilty about it. You probably earned it. And good for you. Just have compassion for those who aren't so fortunate. So, you know, no fault of our own. It's, you know, they shut down the world and everything goes. I mean, 60% of all businesses are going to stay closed. And I don't know how that's going to work. But anyway, <laughs> think about your life. Think about others. Be compassionate. It's important for you to love yourself. For you to heal, you got to love others. I mean, people are a pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie. I'm an artist, and I can't, I have, my biggest problem is selling my art. I just don't like being around people. That just sounds, I'm like, I'm in the middle of the desert. I know people give off such negative vibes sometimes. It's like, oh, and I'm really susceptible to it. I'm very open, you know, to other people's energy, and i got to be careful with my, i got to guard myself. Which is what I'm so poor, because I can't just jump in the middle of L.A. and be like, yay, I'm here. I'd be like, oh, I gotta go. Anyway, but eventually, hopefully, if I get famous or rich, I'm gonna have to deal with these people and places, and it'll be fun. Anyway, but for now, I'm just hanging out on BLM and trying to stay alive and stay happy. And, yeah, stay out of trouble. Good luck, right? I want you to have a wonderful day, and again, I love you, God loves you, and the universe loves you, and just be compassionate and be kind, and you will be on your way to loving yourself, and that is the greatest gift you'll ever get, period. You can be poor, but if you love yourself, you're a king, you're an emperor, believe it, or empress, so yeah, rock it, okay, bye.